to speak the words that will touch these young men and guide them into manhood. Pray for all these things in your daughter's son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Again, welcome. Our guest speaker today is going to be Marco Walden. He's a life instructor, mentor, and poet. poet. He's a native of Dallas, Texas. Marco earned his Bachelor of Science and Studies and Master's education and secondary education at Akron State University. During his undergrad, he's a four-year letterman of football. He's also a member of Phi Beta Civil Fraternity Incorporated. Marco is also a strong Christian. He attends Condor Church under the leadership of Pastor Brian Carter. And today he's going to speak to you young men about life. That's what you keep up with. 
Because you know what you tell him? I can beat you 31 times, and I'm going to keep working so I can beat you up. 30, how many times? I beat you 31, how many times I want to beat you now? 32. Once I beat you 32, I want to beat you up. Then when I beat you 33, I want to beat you up. Then when I beat you 34, I want to beat you up. 35. The only way you can do this is by being a change. And you know how you change? What's the first thing you got to change? You change the way you up. Think. A lot of people will never be successful because they can't change the way they think. Can't change the way they think. Can't change the way you think. You can't change the way you act. Never change the way you act. You never get the result that you want. I'll tell y'all something. Homeboy, what's two plus two? What's one plus one? What's three plus three? What's ten plus ten? What's five plus five? What's four plus two? What's three plus two? What's one minus one? There you go. What's one plus one? What letter comes after A? What letter comes after C? What's one plus one? Two. Y'all want to know what? The most important part to the problem that I gave you was not the answer. Was not the answer. It was the thought process that you used to get there. What did you have to do in order to figure that problem out? You have to think. A lot of times when you take tests, you get grades based on your what? Thinking. Not the answer. I talk. I'm a teacher. Sometimes a kid can have the right answer. Don't even matter. I don't care what the right answer is. If he can't show me how he got there. Show me how you got to 3 plus 3 equals 6. Show me what you did to get there. Because that let me know you're not cheating. That let me know you're not cheating. A lot of people think they can play ball, but they want to cheat themselves to try to get to the next level. I wasn't the fastest coming out of my high school. Wasn't the biggest. Wasn't the best. I came out of Dallas Carter High School. Y'all might have seen a movie that talked about us called Friday Night Lights. You seen that football movie? That team in red? That was a big team? That was my school. They wrote a book about us. When I signed out of college, we signed 27 athletes. D1A or D1AA in football, our one team, 27. That was the biggest class ever come out of Texas. And we lost in the first round of the playoffs. First round of the playoffs. Want to know why we lost in the playoffs? Because nobody wanted to be the change. Nobody wanted to come to all season practice. Nobody wanted to stay late and come early. We felt because we had this guy getting guilt that we could just show up and beat people. And we did that until we got to one of the teams that had the same amount of talent, but they had a few players on there that wanted to be what? Change. You know how they change? By outworking us. Outworking us in the offseason. Outworking us in the classroom. We had kids who didn't go to class. All that makes a difference. You know how many people signed off their football team that year? Four. We signed 27, they signed four, but they beat us in the first round of the playoff. School called Tyler John Tyler. Country ball. Living out that puck wood. Eating them red beans and rice. How I many of y'all eat red beans and rice? I was the same battle. That's a different story. But when I got to college, my mindset changed. My mindset changed. I sat at that table with the cameras. Inside that letter of intent, with everybody looking, where is he going? Where is he going? One thing I had to do, I had to learn how to be a man. I had to learn how to change, to adapt. I couldn't take my same work, work ethic that I didn't have in high school to college. I would have never played. If you notice what he said in the paper, I was a four-year letterman. Four years. That means as soon as I walked on campus, I earned my spot. I earned my spot. I didn't care because you was a senior. This was supposed to be your coming out here. I don't care. I'm a young cat from Dallas, Texas who owned her. Because my mama got to eat. I'm trying to make a better life for my mom. I didn't watch my mama work three jobs. She couldn't pay for me to go to school. So this is the only opportunity I got. And you're not going to take that from me. So you're going to have to outwork me every day. 
I played next to a guy that just retired from the NFA, and I pushed him to where he was today, and I tell him that to his face, Donald Driver. I tell him that right now. What for me come out corn, you wouldn't have made it to where you are. And I made him raise his game up. That's what you gotta do. You gotta make the next man better. You gotta make him 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 better. And it goes all the way around. Y'all know what, you know what the Masonic and Sigmas and all that stuff stand for? Brotherhood. Brotherhood, scholarship, service. Brotherhood, that's unity. That's unity. What you guys doing right now will live with you forever. Live with you forever. I got off the plane and met a friend, a brother. As soon as I got off, brotherhood. Went to a speaking engagement last night. Met another brother. There's something that will last for you forever. Scholarship. That's grades, man. That's grades. How I many of y'all make straight A's? One person. One person. Stand up, stand up, young man. What's your name? Is it hard to make straight A's? It's not hard. Huh? I like that. I like that. How many of y'all make A's and B? Stand up. <laughs> if you can make A's and B's, you can make what? Hold on, hold on, hold on. If you can make A's and B's, you can make what? Straight A's. I'm not talking about like that. If you can make A's and B's, you can make what? Straight A's. That's the first thing you got to do is believe it. You got to believe it. Do you believe you can make straight A's? Yes, sir. You do? How bad do you want it? I want it. You sure you want it? Yes, sir. I'm going to see. I want to know why I'm see. I'm going to check on y'all. I'm going to need a copy of a book called Email Me That Grades. <laughs>